scrimmage, what were your what were your thoughts on, on what you saw after you analyzed some of the, the video? In the scrimmage or today? No, the script from the scrimmage first. I just, I just wonder what you you analyzed. Jeez, that's that. like six practices. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> it was the first time we talked to you since then. That was and a big so, one. Uh, what, I mean, if you analyzed some of what you have seen. Well, obviously, we got to improve our tackling, and so that's something that we continue to work on every single day, We're trying to put these guys in as many situations as possible from a tackling standpoint and teaching the fundamentals of tackling. And, uh, you know, we got to do a little better on that contested throw. And so there were some guys that, that, that caught some deep balls on us. We got to be able to cover those better. And we got to try to improve our passion. You're, you're missing some guys in the secondary, obviously. It's a little tough to get them to the rhythm back there. Yeah, right now we're kind of at, at a point a little bit like we were at spring ball. We got a lot, we got probably more guys in the training room right now than we do on the practice field. And so that, uh, that that makes it a little bit challenging. And we got some guys trying to learn new new spots on, on the fly. Are you getting a better sense of, of what you who might end up playing up front? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're starting to get a feel for who the guys are and what they can do for us. Yeah. Anybody in particular you think is going to be up there all the time? Well, we're going to have to play more than three guys, oh, I mean, sure. especially up front in the defensive line. We need to find six guys that can play for us every single game. Of those guys that are limited, is there anyone that you think might be, you know, worried about, about potentially availability moving forward? Or you uh, Coach mostly... Smith will talk about injuries, not me. The guys you do have in the secondary, what have you kind of seen from their progression through camp? Is there, I mean, what do you mean in particular? Uh, just, I guess more the young guys in particular, just how they've come along. Yeah, well, you know, some of the freshmen have have been impressive. You know, Jaden Robinson's done a nice job coming in as a true freshman and, and getting the mix. Bryson Branch has had a nice camp so far for a guy who's coming in as a walk-on and, and really going out there and competing with some of the starters. And what have you seen from, like, Jalen Moore as a leader back there? Well, we're still, you know, working on leadership across the board. You know, we got to develop our leadership from a standpoint, and really that leadership's got to come, you know, I mean, when things go badly. Who's going to step forward, take charge, and get things going in a positive direction? When you say you need to work more on, you know, the tackling and all that, is that just a matter of just hitting, and, or is there other things that you're No, it's not, it's, gotta... it's not just hitting. It's a, a, your approach to making the, ta the tackle so you're taking the proper angle. You have your eyes in the proper place as you close. You have your footwork in the proper way, so you can make. You know, tackling is just like any other physical skill. It needs to be taught, trained, and you got to develop muscle memory. Do you memory feel so you like that's getting better, though? Do you feel like that part's getting better? The fundamental parts. Have you seen that like a week ago? Is it getting better? Or you... It's still a work in progress. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I won't say that we're significantly better than we were a week ago, but. Uh, you know, we're going to continue to work on it every single day in practice, and, and, and that's the only way you can get better at it. There's, there's no magic pill that we can become a better tackler other than putting our guys in those drills to drill it as much as possible. And today, you know, we had 43 snaps of live football. We had 43 opportunities to, to make a tackle at the play. And so, you know, we'll go back again tonight, take a look at it, and see which, which are there any common things of why we're missing tackles, and then we're going to work on those scenarios. Yeah.